So when's the first time you started being able to bounce your pecs? I, I can't recall. Morgan, do it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I no, I can definitely it. remember a time when I couldn't do this in my life. Do you know what I had to eat last night that I haven't had? Clam. Clam. No. The last time I had it was sophomore in high school. What did I have last oh, night? A hot dog. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I remember you knew exactly like why pork is not commonly found in a bodybuilder diet. Omega sixes, omega sixes is like twenty to one. Pork has one of the highest omega sixes to omega three ratios, and that's one. So why is that bad? Food. It's considered an inflammatory food. When someone goes, it's eighty percent ground beef. They're like, oh, eighty percent of it is lean. No, eighty percent of it by weight is lean, not by macros. So when's the first time you started being able to bounce your pecs? I, I can't recall. Morgan, do it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I can't no, I can definitely remember a time when I couldn't do this in my life for sure. Yeah, I got it now. It feels good. I love it. I love doing it in the middle of a chest workout when the pump starts to come on. <laughs> yeah. And it's just yeah, like, or, holy shit. Oh, wait, is, is even it? better. You, you'll re you know that the pump comes up hard and then it goes away slightly. Then there's more... It's been stretched, but there's still blood, so there's more movement. Yeah. You have the control from your yeah. nervous system. Yeah, because when you're super pumped, really, I'm like, like fuck, I, it doesn't even bounce. It's just fucking there. You know, and those yeah. are the best pumps. <laughs> mm. yeah, Antoine, what? you could do that shit with your tricep and the bicep can you too. Do it with their lats. How do you, mm. what do you, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. I think I might have gotten it about a few weeks ago. I was I was doing like the starting pose of a lat spread in the mirror, and I was able to oh, kind of get that feel in my lat. I could like probably Christmas do it. Tree would bounce a little bit. Yes, I could probably do it standing up. You uh, you yeah. just retract your shoulder down, so you activate the lat a little bit. You gotta find that way. You know, people sometimes they do a Christmas tree with their head, they, they both their arms down like that. Yeah. So it it will be like that, but you try to flex your lat. I, I think it's doable. Well, have you, have you ever tried to have your arm like this and uh, flex your, your tricep without fixing your bicep? Mine's soft. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. Okay, this, this podcast is just a bunch of big dudes touching themselves and trying to feel, feel so, things. So me, yeah. when, when I flex, when I, when I flex my, my tricep, like here, see that? Yeah. This is like, it's not super soft. But if I, if I like a... Is that just because it's stretched? Oh, you're right. You're right. It doesn't. Well, it does keep, tighten a little keep, bit. Keep, keep your arm bent and flex your tricep like that. See that? I have to flex my bicep to do that. Yeah. Oh, right. shit. I didn't realize that. You, you know what I had to eat last night that I haven't had? Clam. 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 Oysters. <laughs> no. The last time I had it was sophomore in high school. What did I have last oh, night? A hot dog. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Me, 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 me. What is a hot dog? Right. Yeah. Super. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had all beef Texas hot dog. It was good. That sounds like good. good. Why did you wait it so long? I just don't like hot dogs. I'm not into hot dogs. Dude, you're like, a good glizzy, bro. But did you and enjoy like, that hot dog? It was fucking good. It yeah. was really a good, good glizzy. You, know, you do like hot dogs. You just know how bad they are for you. Yeah, well, pretty much. I like hot well, dogs. hundred percent beef is like you just put a beef through a grinder and you just eat whatever comes out. Dude, when you look at the macros in a hot dog, it's like sixteen this grams is... of fat, five grams of protein, yeah. <laughs> one, gra one yeah, gram of salt. This, this, yeah, sixteen one grams, grams of, of salt. salt. A low fat hot dog, I would say. Hey, Chris, I was trying to dis I was trying to tell someone the other day why bodybuilders don't put pork in their diet, and I remember you knew exactly like bullet point by bullet point why pork is not commonly found in a bodybuilder diet. I was like, why is it not? Remember, I just know Omega Chris six knew is, every one. Omega six is Omega six is like twenty to one. On a, it's like oh, a really? very inflammatory food. Yeah, pork really. Is. Pork is yeah. Pork is here in the United States. It is anyway. Okay. Doesn't have the like you know a lot of our you know a lot of our food used to have more omega threes than it used to so obviously how we mass farm things things change, um, and I know pork has one of the highest omega sixes to omega three ratios, and that's one. So reason. why is so that it's bad? Con it's considered an inflammatory food. Okay, and Morgan, what's your excuse? A reason what? What is Morgan a pork eater? No, no, because he, that sounds bad. I thought, I He's thought, a pork you, eater. So who was it? You, Morgan, that knew about pork, or was it Chris Tuttle? It's Chris. Oh no, it wasn't I, mis me. I misheard. I like bacon though. So you had a he had a beef hot dog. 
Not a pork hot yeah, dog. Beef hot dog. Yeah, beef hot dog. Yeah, 100% beef. Because the pork sausage is more breakfast sausage, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. Yes, yeah. You guys have yeah. sausage? That's like three grams of fat and like, I mean, hey, Taylor, 30 grams you of want fat and like three grams of protein. <laughs> a hot dog. You, you, easy. You, you know what people, you know what people like can't grasp is yeah. when someone goes, it's 80% ground beef. They're like, oh, 80% of it is lean. No, 80% of by weight is lean, not by macros. So they yeah. think that like it's 80% of the macros is protein. No, no. 80-20 is a god-awful amount of fat. It's a ton wow. of fat. Oh, wow. It's a baby in there. Congrats, congrats. That's so exciting. I know. I know. I built, well, she built the crib, actually. I just finished <laughs> 13 it. weeks. Almost took credit for yeah, that. She's beer, like, right? how many weeks out? 12 weeks out? Yeah, I almost took the credit. 12 weeks out? Because yeah. you're six months now. Almost in third trimester. Yeah. It's coming soon. Arthur's 12 cool. weeks off from his debut. Yeah. Arthur's our, our debut. <laughs> his life debut. Yeah. These people who are make, like, don't have any money in their savings, no money in investments, but are driving a Porsche. Like, they appear like they have money, but they're worse off than a lot of us, right? If you go into like a hardware store and you're trying to get a deal no. and you're dressed to the nines, no. they're not giving yeah. you a deal, right? But if you look like you're just like trying to do jobs and like scraping by, you're more likely to get deals, right? So that's always been like his oh, mentality. Oh, yeah. yeah. And also like how people treat you. Like if people still treat you like like you're a good person, like when you're not, when you don't look like you're rich, you know what I mean? You, then you find out if you want yeah. to do business with them or not, right? Mm. Sure. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, yeah. it's like you're more like um, can relate to them more. You know, somebody who's like super rich, you know, it's like it has a fancy car, this and that. It's like, yeah, like there's something between us or something, you know, there's like a it's, layer it's, it's, of it's something. It's a shitty investment. Yeah. A car, yeah. Totally agree. Yeah. That doesn't yeah. appeal to me at all. Like if I, if I like had like fuck you money, sure. I would buy some like nice cars and stuff like that. Cause like who wouldn't. Right. But to I'd like get a sick truck. Yeah. Well, you could, you know, if you have fuck you money, you can probably have both. Right. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but it's not something I'm like willing to like break the bank on or stress myself out over or a payment I've been mm. worried about coming out every month. Like, you know? Yeah. I'm actually getting a new car in September though. What do you what? So, I, so I have the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't tell you that more. No. So I have this Bronco right now, right? Bronco. So, yeah. It's a four door. Uh, I had that not too long ago. And uh, there's not too much, too much bad mileage on it because I was staying like five minutes from the gym for the whole time I had it before. So, but the thing is, let's say if I'm with Taylor and we have a kid and we have to put the kid in the car seat, it's going to be like Taylor will have a hard time doing it because there's such a big step up. So you need I have a van, to... bro. Huh? Wait. An audio so, van, van like me. So and I, I've noticed that there was, there, was actually, there was actually a meme about that car regarding that. Oh, the, the meme was like, oh, we need a family car. Let's get the a Toyota 4Runner 2025, which is like they redid the Toyota 4Runner, but fucking it's like jacked up. It's like sick. So I'm getting that. I'm getting a Toyota 4Runner 2025, the RTD that one. That's like the, huh? How does that solve your car problem? It's not as high. It's not as high. It's not Are as sure? high. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Well, like... I, I'm not 100 percent sure, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an inch higher. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Now, I got. I got to show it to you. 2025. Oh, they're nice. Four runners have been nice since like since Ever. 99. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have that tan color. I think. So exactly like, with it. Forest Green is nice on those two. Forest Green, yeah, this one here. I think so. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, oh, I like Sorry, that. I, I'm confused. How come your Bronco doesn't work? It looks no, like it, it does work, but it's just it's because uh, if you want to put a baby, because see here, this, it's still a big step here, right? The Bronco is a little bit higher, so it's like it's it's going to be like you have to put the baby in the car. It's just harder to put a baby in there. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I just want a new car. Can I have a good excuse? I, look good in this <laughs> <thing>? <laughs> I was waiting for it. I, I was waiting for it. I thought we talked about like a Tahoe cool. or something. It's Black Rock. Yeah. yeah. You, you ever see that image of Black is, Rock? Dude, they, they own everything, dude. It's crazy. I know. Was, it's you like figure out the statistics of like what Black, like they own like 80 something percent of like the companies in the United States. Shit. So I know. Big companies. Told you. You guys are like currently getting flagged right now for looking it up. Yeah. Dude, I, really? I was hesitant to even say BlackRock just then. <laughs> no, it's okay. I know. I don't care about like a couple of guys. It's like, yeah, dude, good, good job, BlackRock. You're really good at doing business. <laughs> BlackRock is the world's largest asset management firm, managing trillions of dollars in assets across various investment funds, 
including ETFs, mutual funds, and retirement accounts. So are they like an investor to Pani? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just manage money. I think they have a lot of Evan Santapani's working for them. Yeah. Yeah. Thousands. Yeah. Thousands, Thousands of yeah. panties. That's crazy. Imagine the lawn in that place. We have fucking pristine lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say I'm ending a podcast with my friends. Give me a short outro. <laughs> uh, make it funnier. All right, folks, that's a wrap for today. We hope you enjoyed this roller coaster of conversation as much as we did. If you didn't, well, st- thanks for sticking around anyway. anyway. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a review, and maybe send us some snacks. We work better with snacks. See you next time. Same place, slightly different nonsense. Bye.